Yay for tags! Haven't filmed one in a while, so that's a lie. I filmed one last weekend and I totally forgot about it. Whatever. We're here with a tag, so I hope you guys enjoy it. <laughs> Hi everyone, it is Samantha. I hope you guys are doing fantastic. I am here today with a tag, in case you couldn't tell from like the awkward intro. Today I'm going to be doing the How I Read Books tag. I have no idea who created this. I think it came from a blog. I was trying to look. I'll try to look more, and if I find who the creator is, I'll link it down below. But I was tagged by Vanessa Bettina, who I'll, I will also link below, because she is awesome, and you guys should go and check her out and subscribe. Alright, so, well, on to the questions. Question number one is, how do you find out about new books to read? Booktube. Also Amazon. Sometimes I'll look at what's recommended for you based on your purchases. Same thing on Goodreads. So, I have a variety of places in which I search for books. Question number two is how did you get into reading? Well, I came from a very big family of readers, but myself I didn't actually like to read until I was about eight or nine, and then I checked out from the library this gem. Not specifically this gem, because then I would have a massive overdue fine, but a version of this book. <laughs> it's the BFG by Roald Dahl, the big friendly giant. I loved this book. I was so engrossed. I remember sneaking and staying up past my bedtime to read it because I had to know what would happen. It's what started it all. After that, I was constantly going to the library trying to find books that would inspire the same feels that this book inspired in me. And yes, it was fantastic. Roll Doll, you are a genius. I'm sure you have inspired many a generation of readers. So kudos to you, Roll Doll. Question number three is how has your taste in books changed as you've gotten older? I would say I like to read more classics than I have when I was younger. I still love fantasy. Fantasy remains my favorite genre. But sometime about high school, I started, late high school, I started reading more classics, picking up more classics on my own. I just really enjoy them. I like reading books written in a time period that no longer exists because you get kind of an insight into how people live back then because you're reading words written by somebody who lived it so I find that to be really fascinating plus there's just some really great stories and writing that you know are just phenomenal and you can only find them in classic books question number four is how often do you buy books probably once a month or so I'll generally go through and try and find books that I've been wanting to read or like second books in series and things like that third books in series but usually at least once a month I like to pick up a couple books. It's kind of the way I like to treat myself. It makes me feel happy to buy books because being in a bookstore or... I tend to also buy them more online. Just makes me feel kind of happy. Getting that anticipation of a package coming is kind of fun. I don't know. I like buying books. I like finding new books to read. And I like having options available for when I do want to pick up a book. Question number five is how did you get into booktubing? I actually stumbled across booktube Christmas of 2013. I was watching Christmas haul videos. And I came across this one called the Christmas Book Haul. And I was like, well, what is this? And it was Jessica from Price is Wong. And I discovered the booktube community through that video because on the sidebar there was other ones listed and I think the next one I clicked on was like Reagan from Peru's Project, like a fantasy recommendation video and I was like, I like fantasy, I like books, I could do this, but I didn't actually do it until like five months later in May and then I finally uploaded my first horribly awkward video which is still out there if you want to see it. It is, I'm so awkward. I don't know, I'm like super serious in the video. I'm like, hi guys, it's Sam. I was really nervous when I filmed it but it's incredibly awkward to go back and watch it now. I'm like, why are you so serious? Lighten up. Past Sam, lighten up. Question number six is how do you react when you don't like the end of a book? I don't. I guess I'm like, eh, and then I'll write it down a star or something. I don't know. I don't really have like a big reaction. I'll be kind of like, oh, that was a disappointing ending. It's not something that I get like horribly upset about. I can't actually think of any instance where I've absolutely hated the end of a book. Nothing's really coming to mind right now. I'm sure it's happened. But I don't think I ever have like this huge overt reaction to it. Question number seven is how often do you take a sneak peek at the end of a book to see if there's a happy ending? I never look at the last page of a book. I don't like to do that because I don't like to be spoiled. I will kind of read ahead a few pages like if I'm really into a book and I kind of want to see what's going on. Especially when I'm at a really pivotal moment and I want to know what's going to happen to the character. I'll kind of glance a few pages ahead or like a paragraph ahead to see what's going to happen. But I've never actually read the last page of a book. And question number eight is who are you going to tag? I don't know. I don't, I don't actually know who has done this. I'm going to tag 
Lindsay from Lindsay Ray, if you haven't done this already, Sana from Inkbones Books, and Sarah from Books and Junk, so I'm not sure if any of you guys have done it, but if you haven't, then feel free to do so. I'm also going to tag Marina from Impression Blend, Cassidy from Cassidy Vanche, and anybody else who wants to do this tag, feel free to do so, because it's a fun tag, get kind of an insight into people and their reading habits, so yes. I'm really sorry, by the way, too, if this was a really fast-talking video, I have had caffeine today. I have had large amounts of caffeine, so I'm really energetic. So, if that's coming across, thank you for sticking with it. So basically, this video is brought to you by coffee. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. If there's anything you want to leave down in the comments, feel free to do so. And as always, have a wonderful day and happy reading. Bye. And today I'm here to do with the fish. <laughs> Yo, we are here with the tag. And I don't know why I'm talking like this. Very, we are here today with the tag. Why? Especially if I'm at a really pivotal, pivotal, <laughs> can't say pivot, pivotal. Pivotable. Pivotal. Pivotal. Yes. You may or may not be able to look.